Thank you, guys. Hey, John. How are things going, man? Things are going good. How are you? Doing pretty well. Doing yes, pretty well. Um, I was uh, wondering here, obviously, going into the game Wednesday, um, it's a very highly anticipated matchup with uh, you and Baycott. I'm curious as a player, like, how do you approach or, like, mentally um, – or mentally prepare for matchups like that? Like it's obviously a challenge, it's a task, it's something I guess that'll be very important to the outcome of the game. But like, do you try not to make too much of it? Oh, not at all. I don't, I think it is, you know, a regular game, you know, he, we got to see each other tomorrow, on Wednesday. So that's just, yeah. when, when you see each other, I'm not going to stress myself over it too much or worry about it too much. Cause you know, he, he's a player, just how I'm a player, you know? I, I, I guess as a player, as a competitor, how much do you, you embrace opportunities like this one, though, where you're going against a guy like running for conference player of the – how much do you embrace opportunities like that? Well, I, I embrace it a lot. I mean, a lot. You know, you don't – because opportunities like they just don't come too often. So, it could just, you know, show the world what I can do against, you know, the, the best guys in this conference, you know. You know, Mondo, he, he's a pretty good post player. You know, he's a pretty good player. You know, I'm a pretty good player. So, you know. But you want to see what the outcome comes on on Wednesday. John, uh, getting into the later part of the season now, um, of your sophomore year, you know, what do you think you've improved on the most during your career at from high school on? Uh, from high school on, is just you know, just being more poised and you know, just getting my body to where it needs to be. Is, you know, I still don't think my body where it should be at. You know, just keep improving on that. You know, just keep improving on it as a player. Just keep improving on me, part like off the court, you know, just, just keep an improvement in all FSEX, you know, as a player, as a passer, as a leader, you know, just growing every year, you know. Hey John, we've talked with uh, Coach Capel several times this year about how, you know, this is kind of like your freshman season after only playing seven games last year, and he had talked about, you know, you were, you were at a point that you had never been previously in college. Like, you know, how have you dealt with any fatigue that maybe comes along, you know, especially like with you playing a very physical style? Like how do you, it when it feels like you're maybe about to hit a wall, how do you sort of deal with that? Punch through that wall, you know, remember, remember last year that it was taken away from me. So, you know, just, just being thankful for this opportunity, being able to play this long in the season, you know, so your fatigue is not even, you feel me? That's not even a thought on my mind when I'm in the game, you know, just getting through that, you know, just and doing what I could do to help my teammates win. John, you're getting double teamed more and more these days. Uh, how comfortable are you feeling now dealing with, with, with being the man with the most attention on the court? You know, the double team is starting to feel like a single coverage now, you know, just just making the appropriate passes, not, not trying to make the, the perfect pass or just seeing what's making the right pass, you know, just seeing the open play, seeing the open cutter, you know, just taking my time more, ceiling lower, getting better position. You know, it's just, it's all a learning process. What are these wins? How, how is that motivating you guys to keep going? Uh, win or lose. I don't, you know, I feel like our, we, we, us motivating, coming here every day and plant practice, you know, that should be motivating, you know, win, lose, or draw that we shouldn't let that like mess with us mentally. So it's just, just keep going. That's my biggest thing. Just keep going. John, you aren't really on the court uh, much with Noah, you know, you guys kind of flip flop uh, as, as the bigs of this team, but what can you learn from his game and what do you think he's, his best skills are out on the court? Uh, you know, Noah's like uh, he—he's a very good player. You know, just things I could take away from him, him, his game is you know the way his his defense. Like you know, he—I feel like he's a good, better, a uh, better defender than me. So just watching him black screens, you know, just seeing it the proper way, watching him rim run hard, you know, just attacking the glass, you know, just causing havoc. You know, it's, it's a lot to watch. You know. You know, what are the biggest improvements, John, that, that you've seen from Noah from last year to, uh, to this year, especially, I guess, as he's put on a little more weight, he's gotten a little more accustomed to uh, to playing the, uh, the the five. What are the biggest differences you've seen from the guy? I've seen a lot of growth from – I'm sorry. I've seen oh, no, a lot no, of no. growth from Noah, you know, coming from the fact that that was my roommate last year. So, you know, just, just seeing him, his body changing is more his, you know – Cause Noah's not a five. His his you know his like he could hang down there with the fives. You know, body down there with him. 
he could switch out on fours. It's just, it's just fun to watch, see him compete. You know, he's a he's a competitor. He plays hard. He's like he he's even though he's undersized, he's not going to let nobody bully him. I just love the heart that he plays with. I was just figuring that there were like potential Valentine's Day plans in the works here. That was oh, <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, uh, Jamaris, what um. I mean, what's the feeling like around the team right now? It's a group that's won two games in a row. It's the first time it's happened in ACC played this season for y'all. Um, what's sort of the collective or general feeling like around this team and in the locker room right now? Um, I would say the energy is definitely up, but there's no sense of complacency um, within our group. Um, we've been able, we have not been able to put together more than two games in a row all season. So for us, that's just the next step. Um, just trying to get better each and every day and lock in on this next scouting report is the most important thing. Yeah, you know, playing the team. Go ahead. Uh, oh, no, 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 sorry, Kelly. I've already asked when you go ahead. I was gonna say, you seem to be the guy who wants the ball in his hands the most at the end of the game. Um, is that how you've always been? Is that just a comfort level of being uh, the one? To do yeah, that. Def yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like I can either create for myself or other teammates. So I'm definitely comfortable um, with the ball in my hands down the stretch. Um, I have experience experience um, doing so at Wichita State. So for me, um, I, I feel very comfortable in those situations. You also seem to be the one who always likes to take that shot at the most key moment and hit it. Um, that just shows your confidence. You're just confident in your shot. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like I put the work in and I trust my my ability um, to get to a spot and elevate. Um, so for me, in those pressure moments, um, those key moments in the game, um, for me, I'm I'm playing free and, I, and I'm confident at all times. Y'all can hear that, hear the sound check going on. Do you know who's uh, performing? I, I don't. Do you? Uh, Ghost and somebody else. I don't know. Yeah, I don't Ghost. know. I don't know Ghost Face Killer, but uh, yeah, uh, Jamaris being from Charlotte, um, I don't know if you've ever played in the Dean Dome before, but like I did. I have. Okay. What do you, um, I mean, does a game like this maybe carry, I don't want to say ex like extra mean, but for someone who's from there, I don't even know if you grew up a Carolina fan. Like, what, what, what are you for you envisioning Wednesday being like? I envision Wednesday being a, a great game. Um, I feel like the energy is going to be there from both from both ball clubs. And for me, I'm not going into it with any extra emphasis on it, just going out there to compete and to have fun and, and hopefully end up on the right side of things. You have a coach that hates North Carolina and a coach that loves North Carolina. Uh, have the Cable brothers said anything about uh, this upcoming, upcoming game? Uh, outside of the scouting report, they haven't put their personal agendas out there. So uh, for us, we're just trying to lock in and, 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 and give ourselves a great opportunity uh, to come out with a win on Wednesday. You talked about the scouting report um, that your coaches are telling you guys before the game. Um, how do you think this season, you know, being one of the veterans on the team, how do you think you guys have, have followed those scouting reports and, and executed during the games? Uh, I feel like for some games, um, the attention to de the attention to detail within the scouting report wasn't there, obviously. But I think as the season progresses, we understand um, the importance of it. And whenever we're able to um, lock in and understand um, the, each player's tendencies, that gives us a greater advantage out there on the floor, especially down the stretch, just knowing what the other team is going to go to and being able to counter it. 